When you think of a charity event for a middle school, what do you think of? A bake sale? Family games night? A movie screening? <laughs> Books are Middle School in Santa Clara teamed up with Wrestling for Charity for a Halloween-themed SmackDown event to benefit the Santa Clara Schools Foundation and to help the city's bid to attract the likes of The Rock and John Cena for WrestleMania 2015 at Levi's Stadium. A dozen bulked-up professional wrestlers with made-up names like Gangrel, the Vampire Warrior, and Drake Younger took over the gym, prancing and slamming their way through a demonstration of maneuvers called the Big Splash, the Crossbody Chop, and the tilt a -whirl. 250 fans from the ages of 5 to 95 yelled and cheered as they were awed by the sheer size and aggressiveness of the talent. The Santa Clara Schools Foundation is an independent, nonprofit organization which has donated over $1 million to the Santa Clara Unified School District for scholarships, equipment, awards, and grants. We are we're giving the proceeds of all our entries here to the Santa Clara Schools Foundation. So let's give them a round of applause. City Council Member and Vice President of the Santa Clara Schools Foundation, Teresa O'Neill, played a major role in the event. The beginning balance from the education budget is declining each year. In 2011-2012, it was almost $12 million, and it is estimated to drop well below $8 million in 2014-2015. We have a lot of unmet needs for schools in our community. This is one of our attempts to get the community involved and raise some money that will all go to helping teachers and kids in our schools. Wrestling for Charity was started in 2000 by Santa Clara native Robert Howe at De Anza College as a small campus organization designed to help communities through wrestling. Just trying to give back to the community any way we can through wrestling. It's just, the bottom line is raising money for the community and giving back. I mean, there's probably literally thousands and thousands of hours of work for this one event to raise probably $1,000 or so. So it's a labor of love and doing something we love to give back. Not only is this event raising money for a good cause, it is attempting to be a prelude for WrestleMania, which could potentially bring hundreds of millions of dollars to Santa Clara. The city is trying to monetize Levi Stadium, and with the 49ers only playing 10 home games a year, both the team and the city stress the importance of booking other sporting and entertainment events year-round. The Super Bowl has been secured for 2016, and O'Neill says the stadium authority is looking for events like the BCS Collegiate Football Championships and WrestleMania. We were kind of trying to market this as a prelude to that, and, and uh, perhaps if Santa Clara is fortunate enough to get that, that it'll generate interest in us having the show every year. We do need to have outside events. We need to be using that stadium for other things rather than the 49ers. We want to build a tax base so that we can provide, keep, you know, we've taken a hit the last few years. We want to be able to provide even better services for our residents, and so that's the whole driving force behind doing a lot of those things is how can we bring revenues to the city. Howe is a huge advocate for his city getting the bid. Oh, the city would benefit so much. I mean, WrestleMania is the Super Bowl of professional wrestling. It's, we're talking 60, 70, 80,000 people here for a week because everybody thinks it's one event, but it's just like the Super Bowl, so it's like a whole week, and the economic activity from it in the city would be amazing. So uh, we're really excited, and I, myself, I think Santa Clara's got it locked down on Philadelphia. The bid will be announced in early 2014, and the wrestling community in Silicon Valley will eagerly be awaiting the decision. One thing is for sure, when Wrestling for Charity and the Santa Clara Schools Foundation team up, they bring the idea of a middle school fundraiser to an entirely new level. One might say, these types of events are the crutches of building a successful community. This is Stephanie Wetmore reporting for the Peninsula Press, a project of the Stanford Graduate Program in Journalism.